Hey Ragers, this is Rage Quit. We're gonna be reacting to Gamefox's um, video. I'm sorry if I can't talk today. I've been struggling all morning. And also, ignore this. I'm really freaking cold and my f sweaters are in the wash. So, I saw a little bit of here and there on his video and I'm like, you know what? Meaning, I just saw the beginning, like when he has the clips. But um, <clears throat> I really wanted to react to this, so we're gonna react to it. All right, we're just gonna do it. So I have no idea on how he did at all. All I know is that he was very happy and very pleased on how much I've grown on level making. So. Let's go. Let's let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna watch all five minutes of this because I'm not gonna just skip. Get on me. There we go. It's freaking cold here. It's pushing almost thirty degrees. It's crazy. All right, here we go. I really want to know how he does that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from Mega Man Maker. Today I'm gonna go for Rage Quit AL's level. Please check her out on YouTube. I will put a link in the description. <laughs> Thank you for that, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that shout out. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Just just do that, and you get it right back at you. It doesn't really work all the time, but it does it sometimes. Not saying he doesn't do it all the time. He does it for anybody who makes a level for him and he does a video for it. And uh, now I'm going to play the level from Amanda Foxy's Grand Theft Kaizo Wannabe. Let's see what okay. she got. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to explain to you guys on what gave me the idea for Grand Theft Kaizo Wannabe. So, knowing that the game Grand Theft Auto is still going viral to this day, I kind of got the idea... I wanted to start out with the name <clears throat> um, Ka uh, Foxy's Kaizo Wannabe, but no, sorry, Foxy's Kaizo Wannabe. I don't know if I said that already, but I just want to confirm that. So I was like, you know what? I'm kind of stealing ideas from all the different types of Kaizo he's ha he has done. So I'm like, I could fit the entire thing. Cool. Foxy is Grand Theft Kaizo wannabe. So that that gave me the idea. So let's let's hop into it. Oh God, all this stuff. If I see <laughs> this, uh, I'm already a little bit frightened because. Um... Foxy, Foxy, let me explain something to you because I know you're gonna be watching this anyways. Let me just state that I was very generous on a lot of these things. The reason why there are wannabe Kaizo is because they're mini Kaizos. I tried to make Kaizo as much as I could do it. So when you, when you get to the point where you have to jump and then f fall down and then um, sea kick your way through, I wanted to start out with one, found out I can't pull that off, so I wanted to attempt to do the two, the two spike hole. Since I can't move my uh, fingers so good. That's why I was very generous. That's the damn soda level. Yeah. That was cheese. Like that was cheese. Uh, you can cheese this. Um, or wait, I don't even have to. Nice. This right here. Okay. <laughs> that right there what he's doing now I, I want I wanted to do one level. it's a really weird for me right now hold on okay we got this and there's a bit of cheese all right so let me explain this really really quickly guys when it comes to let me put put up the uh 
Hold on, guys. Hold on. When it comes to this entire layout, the main the main protagonist I was trying to do. I don't know if that's the word you got to use, but I struggle with trying to explain this thing because so many people question this. What we were supposed to do was to stand right here. <laughs> You're supposed to shoot down, have this one drop. Use the shoot these three, make this drop. Pretty much find a way to use just these three right here. That's all you were supposed to do. So if you wanted to, I, I, I'm going to be doing a video or I might do this during a live stream when I'm doing MMM. I'm going to play this level so I can show you guys the main way I was suppo you're supposed to do this. Either that or he's doing the main way. I'm not sure. All I know is I only used one gas of air or one part of air. That's all I did. <laughs> wow. But hold on, let's rewind that for just a second. We're going to look at the layout that he had when he left the room. So he had taken out these two, or these four, got rid of all this, got rid of all this. So technically, I'm trying to think of the way I did it. So I took out, I didn't get rid of any of these. I know I dropped this one. So if you were to bring it back to where it's full, the way I did it was take out these, take out these. God damn, I'm trying to explain this a little bit just so you guys kind of can visualize it. If you drop this, it drops one block. Drop this one, it goes down one block. Yeah, right there. So if you drop this one down, you have that open space. If you drop this, this drops. The only thing you were supposed to do was take out this block right here. You could do it and work your way out. Because if you drop this one, kind of, you have that. That was the main reason why. He kind of cheesed it, but at the same time, I made it so that if people didn't understand that, you could actually find your own way out. So I kind of made it so I had like three or maybe four. If you guys find any more, go for it. I don't mind. It's not really cheese. I didn't really know how to make it to where you can only go one way. <clears throat> this is one of my most prized possessions that I've actually made. So honestly, Game Fox, that was one way I didn't know you could actually go. Congratulations on figuring out that one. This right here took me a few minutes to figure out. Now do I need those keys? So really quickly guys, I wanted to kind of explain this, not this. But the reason why he had the gas, honestly, he that was the only cheese that I could figure out. I couldn't really figure out how to not have it there, so I made sure that technically, I don't mind, it's not really cheese to an extent. It was more, I couldn't figure things out, but it is cheese, no matter which way you go. But that is the reason why I added the last 
door on the top where I had the um, X thing, this thing right here. One way or another, the reason why I had this, he kind of had this one anyways. So by the time he ended up having to do this, he got hit with this anyways, unless he slid down. That's always the question. <laughs> really? So that's crap now. Wait, then can you go? Okay. Foxy, quick question. Did you understand on why I put it right here? Not just the fact that I wanted you to lose that. But did you understand on why I restricted you to try to do that? Like go from right here and work your way around. I want I want to know if you know that. If you know how to do if you know why I did that. I didn't want to screw anyone, but at the same time there's a reason why I placed that there. But if anybody else can figure it out, let me know in the comments below or if you can let me know on like um, Discord or whatnot, let me know, okay? There's a reason why I placed that there. It's common sense, to be honest with you. This was the um, idea of... This, this room, I'm just going to explain and I'm done pausing it for now. There was one reason why I placed this room in here. And honestly, before I uploaded this, I had myself as just an entire layout of like four or five different um, levels. Like, see, remember how he dropped? He dropped and it went down to this level. I had about four to five levels. Instead, I just did the two. The only reason why is because I really want I wanted to make another one, so I'm going to make a Foxy's Grand Theft Kaiser wannabe. Um, 2.0 but this was the last thing this this came to mind when I watched his video so that that's why that looks interesting. this entire this entire level that I made was based off of his history of all the different Kaizos he has done but in the mini version of it There's no way I'm going to pull that off. The question is, do I have to put them on top from each other? I knew how much he hated these things. And that's why I added it. <laughs> he messed up. <laughs> this took me about 15 minutes to actually put out. But yeah, I know how much you hate these. Be warned. 2.0 will have a better one. Nice idea, Rage. I like it. I really gotta say, wait, oh man, I could have just. It took one. Wait a second, is there a. Wait a second. <laughs> he fell for it. He fell for it. Maybe I can just cheese this. <laughs> okay, I don't I have a key left. Nice. He fell for it. This is a cool level. I really liked it. I enjoyed it, Rage. Um guys, please uh, be sure to check check her out and thank you for the level. This was one of the best levels I played from you. Uh it has perfect screen transitions, the ideas were good, and thanks for sending me this. See ya guys. Wow, that actually warmed up my heart. <laughs> you really didn't do any kind of cuts, to be honest with you. I like I, I expected you to kind of cut these up a little bit, but I guess you didn't have to. You, it literally looked like you cut up like maybe 20 seconds, where you normally cut up a lot. But, um... I really want to talk for a second about this. So I really wanted to be unique and not go by actual Kaizo, but try to go as much as possible 
when it came to just the general idea of his history of everything he's done. Knowing that a lot of people have been giving him like the most difficult Kaizo ever. But I'm trying to learn a little bit of Kaizo so I'm not like the only one in the group that doesn't know how to do Kaizo because for me, every single time I play Mega Man Maker, I always get like the trashy levels, the, the rageful levels. Like I always get no Kaizo to learn it. So I try to make my own Kaizo and give it to him. But instead it was like his history and make it into a, like a baby version. As well as I know he was playing this game right here. This is the reason, this this is the game that gave me the idea to do um, Kaizo Wannabe. Like straight up. <laughs> I'm actually very happy about it. So I really want to do a 2.0. But when I do end up making that level... I might do it live, so be warned, Game Fox, aka Foxy, because I always call him Foxy. I really want you to look out for that because I don't want you to be in that stream when I do it. This one was not really here and there. I kind of did it off uh, off of the stream, but I finished and I modified it a little bit when I went off. Because for some reason my level was um, corrupted, I don't know why, so I had to redo it and I didn't want to have to stream it all over again and then do it from there. But I will show this stream, I'll show this level in stream or I'll do a quick video on it. But um, besides that, I do apologize that this was like 5 minutes long and I kind of delayed it to like almost 17 minutes. Actually it's about to have 17 minutes, there we go. So, I'll catch you guys soon. I will be live on Thursday. But uh, besides that, Foxy, let me know, please, if um, you have any ideas on what I could do. I really want to do one mini version of, uh, what was it called? Power Transition or um, Insta, Insta Swap. I forgot what it was called. It's where you go from one power lose the other uh, other one and then move to the next power in midair or something like that. I really want to learn that, but I guess I'll have to wait until the future after I do a 2.0. But for now on, I might do more of this where I figure out something and do it that way. But I'm sorry I'm rambling again. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys very soon, okay? And rage quit. <laughs>